Alright ladies and gentlemen, Lengo here with another tutorial and today we're gonna make a simple burglar alarm which is a little system that'll help you keep track if someone is sneaking into your area, room, house or maybe backyard and hear that with a buzzing sound. So the components that we will need as we are learning the Pi Pico, we're gonna of course need this beautiful Raspberry Pi Pico. And we also need a sensor which is very crucial in this project, which is a passive infrared sensor, also known as PIR. We're also going to need a little buzzer to make the sound and scare the burglar. So let's see how we hook up the circuits. I'm going to take the PIR, which is this one right here. I'm going to take the VCC, the VCC on it. This is it just like that. I'm going to take this VCC and connect it to the VBUS on the VBUS like that, the VBUS on the Raspberry Pi Pico. Then I'm going to take the, now I'm going to take the output and put it, one, two, I'm sorry, I'm going to take the output and put it on two, three, four, five, six, seven right here. That's where we're going to put the output, and this one is the general purpose 20, 28, all right? Sorry, 28, 28. And then we need to take the ground, the ground on the PIR, and of course put it on the ground. So it'll be down here on the third pin, yeah. So now we're going to take this uh, buzzer. What we do is we take this one right here and put it on here, all right? This is also the ground, G and D. And I'm going to now take the signal on the buzzer, take it and put it right here, which is the GP, GP, a general purpose, 15, all right? Just like that. Now, let's go ahead and go into our Tony browser. So the first thing you need to make sure of is make sure that this MicroPython Raspberry Pi Pico is connected and can be used. Now let's go ahead and code, all right? So the first thing we need to do to make this project, we need to import the machine because that's where everything, sorry, because that's where everything that is related to hardware is located. That's the library where everything that is uh, related to hardware is located in the MicroPython. So now I'm going to import now something that is going to help us keep track of the time, which is the import U time. Now I'm going to declare this PIR sensor. All right. So the way this is going to be working is if something tries to pass right here, pass right here like this, or maybe in the zone where the PIR captures, we will hear that on a buzzer. It's a simple system. So I'm going to define this sensor pin. I'm going to call it sensor pin. Then I'm going to call it in the machine library like that pin. Then I'm going to specify that it's connected to the general purpose pin 28 machine that pin. And as it's an, a sensor, it's an input. I'm going to say in, then add machine pin pull down because that because we need our PIR to start with a, a down state now I'm gonna also declare this buzzer which is an output I'm gonna call it buzzer oops I'm gonna call it buzzer which is equal to machine that pin then we remember that we connected it to the 15th general purpose pin say machine dot pin that right pin that out all right just like that now the next thing to do is to make a function that is going to help us keep track if there's anything passing across the PIR and everything so we do that by defining the function of course then I'm gonna call it PI handler all right then I'm gonna give it an argument which is pin then go right here, close the function, go down, and then I need to wait using the U time and sleep. This is more like a little delay, MS. Uh, we delay, we're here, we're delaying in microseconds. All right, so I'm gonna put in 100. 
then do a little judgment. If, so we need to check the value from the PIR, all right? If something is detected or not. So I'm gonna use the argument, the variable that we added in our function, pin, then read its value, all right? Just like that. Now, if the value is high, of course, we need to print. We need to show, we need to show that something has been detected. Maybe like, let's trigger the alarm and say, something is transpassing all right just like that now we now let's first check if this thing works but before we do this we need to go down here and trigger and trigger our sensor so we're gonna need something that is called erq uh, which is something that is going to help us trigger to tell the Pico what it should be looking for as a valid signal to interrupt with everything that it's doing that it's doing in the codes. So now we're going to need a function that is called ERQ rising. So let's do that. We're going to say sensor pin, which is our pin. So we need to trigger that. So we trigger that using this, what we explained, which is the RQ then right here i'm going to say trigger so now what i'm triggering is the thing that is machine because it's a hardware pin that erq just like that then i'm going to be rising so if you wanted this to not be the interrupting thing you would use fall instead of rising we would use fall now i'm going to say handler we're going to call the function handler and give it a value of pir handler which is our function handler just like that so let's run this and try to cross our hand right here and see if we see the result that the, the, the something is transpassing then next if that if that works we're going to add this buzzer to see if if something is passing we get a sound so um of course i need to save save the file maybe i can save save as I'm, I'm prompted to save it on the PC or maybe on the Raspberry Pi Pico. I'm going to save it on the Raspberry Pi Pico. I'm going to call it Bagula Arlon. Okay, yes. Okay. Then I'm going to need to click right here and try to run it. Oops, we have something wrong. On line 4, what's going on on line 4? We have machine pin 28. Machine pin in, of course. All right, right here. I need to change. I'm sorry. Now let's run it again and see. We have another issue. Oh my god. Here. Then run again. Alright, as you can see, we have nothing right here. Let's see if I try to cross around these sensor. You can see that we're having a lot. Something is trespassing, alright? So if I try to cross again, you can see that. If I try to cross again, boom, that's what we wanted. Now we're gonna add a little sound to you know kind of make a noise to make us understand that something is trespassing in a house or maybe where so let's go ahead now and here we're gonna add the buzzer make sure you keep track of the spacing so as I'm moving you can see that here we are seeing that the alarm should be triggered so I'm gonna go ahead and make a sound for this buzzer but to make it sounds you know to make it sound um, to make it sound nice, we're, I'm gonna need a, a loop. I'm gonna use a for loop. I mean, a for i in the range, maybe let's say 50, because we need it to sound like uh, tick, 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 just like that for the range 50, which means it's gonna be sounding from 0 to 50. All right, so now we need to use the buzzer, which is this one we declared right here, which is this one, the buzzer. Then we toggle the buzzer, all right? sorry we're gonna toggle the brow the, the buzzer just like that then wait a little second sleep I'm gonna use the sleep function ms just like that and then add 100 microseconds now let's run it again but I need to connect my ground on the buzzer right here I'm gonna count it one two three because that's where the ground is is that right 
Oh, yeah, I guess no, it's not. So I'm going to say one, one, two. Let me adjust it. Just like that. Now I'm going to say one, two, and three. Just like that. All right. So now let's run it again. Let's try now to cross and see if this, the bar, we, we get an alarm. All right. Bam. You can see the message right here. You can see the message right here that alarm something is trespassing. And in the mean, also in the same time, we can hear the buzzer. So if something is trying to sneak into your house, an alarm. So now, ladies and gentlemen, that's how the burglar alarm can be done using the Raspberry Pi Pico tutorial. And if you think you like this video, please don't forget to click the thumbs up and Maybe if you're interested in something like this, click on, on the subscribe button. Thanks and peace.